Hey guys, here in front of me is the AMK M60 or the MK43. Now this is a great light machine gun. Uh, for the price, it's about $350 brand new, uh, or you can find them from like $150 to $300 used. So this is a great one to look into. AMK, in my opinion, is a, is a fairly underrated brand, and I'm pretty impressed with the build of this gun. Now I'm going to go to the front to the back, and then I'll tell you the parts uh, that they don't tell you on the uh, you know the advertisement specs list, uh, but I'll go over the specs first. So basically, up here you have adjustable feet per second. It goes from 400 to 450 feet per second, which is pretty cool because it means you can play on pretty much any field and meet their regulations. Um, and it's just a twist, and it just clicks uh, counterclockwise and clockwise. Here's a 14 millimeter. Uh, counterclockwise threaded barrel, which is pretty neat for your flash hiders or suppressors or whatever you want to put on here. This one's obviously missing. Fixed front sight. Um, we have our uh, integrated bipod here. Now, uh, it is also a height adjustable. I think it has two or three settings down here, though this one's already pretty tall as it is. Um, and they also fold back up along the body, which is pretty cool if you don't want these hanging out while you're running. Uh, here is a metal front uh, mount for a sling. Now this is actually very sturdy. Something that I find on a lot of guns is that the uh, sling mounts aren't usually designed to be sturdy enough to hold the full weight of the gun. This one I would feel have no problem hanging the gun from this front mount and swinging it back and forth. I would not feel like this was going to would pull off or break. Uh, here we have a plastic handguard which is pretty comfortable. It's contoured to your hand. Uh, and then also this front grip here is kind of angled as you can see. Uh, it is also polymer. Uh, it's very comfortable. It's the right distance. Yeah, you can't move it up and down like you could if you had wrists on an M4. But this is a very good length for the average user and you get comfortable with it. Um, and then if not, if you want to choke up on it a little bit, that's what this is for. Now, uh, it has a removable outer barrel here, which is nice. Um, I won't show that to you. Uh, in this video, but you can actually remove this front barrel here and then just have the body so it's smaller and more compact for transport because this thing's already pretty big and pretty heavy to try to fit in a gun bag or a box. Unless you have a truck, it's going to be really difficult to move around. Now, uh, this is a 475 millimeter barrel, which is pretty cool, and it also uses an AEG uh, inner barrel as well. So if you're wondering about that, if you want to put in a tight bore or something, you can do that with this. Now, uh, as we move further back here, uh, this is just the switch to remove the front barrel. Uh, make sure that when you're running it, clip it down all the way. And then uh, back flip up sight. Obviously, you can flip it up or down. Windage and elevation. Um, and they're actually pretty nice. They're very high up off the gun. So when you're shouldering a weapon, uh, this weapon in particular, you have no problem seeing it if you wear a mask or and goggles and all of that. Um, we get back to here, now your mag goes there, about so. It's got uh, its electric winding, which means you don't have to do it yourself, which is nice. Uh, most of the guns do it that way, but I have seen a few where you actually have to wind it like a high cap on the bottom, which is very frustrating. Also, your battery can be stored in there, so it's pretty easy access, and it is a mini to my adapter here. Uh, you can get in to the hop-up right here, which is a metal hop-up. It's pretty neat, very sturdy. Um, the whole unit is metal, I believe. So uh, you can also reach it if you pull out the barrel this way, um, if you need to change any of those components. Now, uh, all the wiring, everything, gearbox, it's an eight millimeter gearbox, uh, which is pretty neat also. And it is a short type motor that powers this monster in front of me. Now, uh, polymer hand, uh, grip here, and then it has the selector switch, which is ambidextrous. It has safe and on, or full auto. A lot of people ask me if these have semi-automatic. Um, all the ones I've seen do not. It's either full automatic or on safety, and it's nice that they actually provide a safety on this gun, so you can meet a lot of the regulations on the field. Um, I'm not sure about the real gun. That'd be something interesting to look up. A uh, polymer buttstock here, but it is very sturdy, which is uh, supported and reinforced by this metal here. It also has this flip-up piece right here, which is supposed to be a shoulder rest. 
um, to help you manage the, the weight of the gun. So between the sling and the shoulder um, support here, it's supposed to be a more manageable weapon. Now that being said, this is actually, you can see it's just wire. I don't, I don't know how well you can see, but it's not very comfortable, I'll be honest. And especially being a smaller guy, when the gun is a tenth of my weight, my body weight, and half of it's resting on my shoulder that hardly has any padding already, it does get pretty uncomfortable after a few minutes. The gun also is, I mean, if you're looking for a heavy gunner, if you're a heavy gunner position like putting down cover fire, this is a good platform. I do like it, but it does get heavy. So make sure that you're willing to lug around 15 pounds plus another, you know, however many uh, BBs you dare to carry. I guess this should be about 3,500 BBs there. Um, but it'll do its job very well. Now, as far as the uh, rounds per second go, I would think that it should be at around the 25 BBs per second. But when we went out and tested it, we were actually pretty disappointed. I think it was around 18 to 22, which uh, can be beat by most M4s. But the thing that you have as an advantage is the rounds behind it and the feet per second coming out of the end of your barrel. Um, so, just show you this side real quick. Really all it is is the charging handle, which doesn't serve any function, but you can kind of see the MOSFET set up in there, which is pretty cool. So overall, if I was looking for, specifically for a heavy gunner, heavy gunner position gun, a light machine gun, um, I'd say this is great. 350 bucks gets you a lot of the accessories and the performance that you would get out of a $500 or more expensive gun but this one provides it for that price. Um, if you can find one used, the, they tend to externally get beat up because they're so big and heavy. The people that carry them are tend to be, you know, not worrying about the body so much, but this one's been put through a lot and besides a few rust spots, everything else is very, very well put together. Nothing's falling off. So um, as a first gun, I'd say go try to check out an AEG platform that's more along the lines of a G36 or M4. But if this is what you're looking for, specifically this style of gun, I I put it up there with maybe the uh, Aries Stone or something like that. Um, I almost actually like this platform better, but that's personal preference. So if you have any questions, um, I might not have this gun by the time I get this posted, but uh, I'll try to answer as many questions as I can on it. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, comment, post below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.